Good morning, I'm meteorologist Crystal Harper with 13 News Now with an update on the tropics. So first I want to talk about a tropical storm barrel. A lot has changed in the past 24 hours. So yesterday this was actually hurricane barrel. It has since been downgraded and winds are only gusting to 60 miles per hour now. It will continue to weaken as it moves to the west northwest at about 20 miles per hour and it's expected to hit the island chain here by this evening. As it continues to push past the islands, it will also continue to weaken. So as it makes its way into the Eastern Caribbean. Winds will be down to about 40 miles per hour. That'll come tomorrow early morning. Back a little bit closer to home, we're tracking Tropical Storm Chris. So again, just last night, this was Tropical Depression number three. This has been upgraded, so it is continuing to strengthen and will continue to strengthen over the next couple of days. Eventually, it is expected to become Hurricane Chris. That'll come between Tuesday and Wednesday. It is expected to stay offshore though, so certainly something to keep in mind. And at at this time it's mainly stationary not moving a whole lot that's because we had a cold front move through last night um, and that as that cold front moves a little bit closer to tropical storm Chris it'll help to push it just ever so slightly off to the southeast before it starts to move to the northeast and that's when we're expecting it to become a category one hurricane again that'll come either late Tuesday night or early uh, Wednesday morning. So wind gusts with this are about 50 miles per hour and it's also important to note that this is expected to stay offshore so no direct impacts to any coastal locations. However, we are dealing with some indirect impacts so let's talk about those. The first one is it's going to be windy once again today, much like what we saw yesterday. So wind gusts in coastal Virginia will be up to about 30 miles per hour. And as we travel a little bit farther to the south in North Carolina, winds will be a little bit stronger at about 40 miles per hour. We're also expecting some minor tidal flooding that'll come at high tide this evening. And then of course some rough surf because of those gusty conditions. There's also a very high risk of rip currents, uh, some life threatening rip currents. So very important to note that. Here's a look at the tides. So by tonight, 540 in the evening, that's when we're expecting just some nuisance level of flooding, nothing too major. And then about the wind gusts, we are looking at gusts as high as about 25 miles per hour currently. But again, we could see those increasing to about 30, even 35 miles per hour along the coastal Virginia locations. Moving a little bit farther down to the south, those gusts will be a bit on the stronger side because it is more in the uh, line of that tropical storm up to about 30 miles per hour. So certainly something to keep in mind. They will continue to decrease just ever so slightly as we move into the evening hours, especially for the Virginia locations. Northeastern North Carolina will continue to see those gusty winds really through about Tuesday morning before that storm starts to drift even farther away from our area. Thank you so much for joining us and we will continue to keep you updated on the latest from Tropical Storm Chris.